Coming to the Stakeholders Conference here in Seattle. Hello. DHS S&T Stakeholders Conference. I understand you're with a company called Spear, no, Elliptical Mobile Solutions. Yes, Elliptical Mobile Solutions. But you created the, the Spear. Spear. Yeah. All right, tell us what that is. It's a, it's, Spear stands for Self-Propelled Electronic Armored Rack. But in more simpler terms, it is a building without the building. It, pro it provides air conditioning, power quality, and environmental protection for high-powered computer equipment or communications equipment that you would normally have to build a building around in order to have and to use. This lets a user use all of that power without any of the infrastructure or support necessary that would normally be needed to use it. Now you have one here in the exhibition hall and it's, it's as big as a refrigerator and that's about it. Maybe a little yes. larger. Uh, it's a little larger than a refrigerator uh, is wide. Uh, but it will go through all small doors. It's 27 inches wide. Um, it, but inside, it houses as much computer power and as much communications power as you find in a big, huge mobile command center. Okay. Those large trucks, those RV-based trucks that you see, or those, those, yeah. those, those things that are based on buses. Mm -hmm. Well, we have that kind of capability, but very, very miniaturized, even though it is still the size of a refrigerator. Right. No, it's not very big at all. And uh, you say it's um, self-propelled. Yes. Sounds like a rocket ship. That's uh, not what you mean, is not it? Not quite, no. It, because <laughs> all of the systems to support these powerful computers weigh so much, right. uh, we decided to put a power assist feature into that so that any, any person, regardless of size, strength, capability, could deploy this solution anywhere. Up ramps, down ramps, Even up I could do it. Yes, you could. It's like a lawnmower power assist. Yes, exactly. Uh, something exactly. like that. And um, you told me that um, it, it could have its own generator or fuel cell. You could mount a fuel cell inside of it, right. which then you would not need a generator. But under I normal see. circumstances, in a disaster situation, you would have a standby generator. Okay, so you move this into um, a scenario, right. hook it up to a generator, and, and you've got a communications um, center right there. That is correct. And um, normally, generator power kind of... Uh, ex burns those, the type of equipment out, but we have onboard power conditioning that solves all that problem. So you can connect it to any kind of generator, any quality of generator, internationally even, and it won't hurt the equipment inside. It's a totally inert environment for 19-inch rack-mounted equipment. Fantastic. Do you have any of these deployed yet? Uh, our first purchaser is the city of Avondale. Their municipality is a suburb of Phoenix, Arizona, and they're using it uh, as their emergency operations center. Uh, they're using it, um, they've got a facility that's empty, it doesn't have any equipment in it, mm -hmm. but it has power and lights. Mm -hmm. And the idea is when there's a disaster, they can take the spear packed with their equipment that their own techs loaded and drop it onto that scene, into that facility, and they'll have satellite communication, their phones will be up, mm -hmm. they'll have audiovisual capabilities, they'll have computers, all packaged in that little unit there. This would have been fantastic during some of our more recent disasters. That is correct. Um, Katrina, uh, wildfires even, if you needed a, some sort of emergency center out there in the field. Absolutely, or even a uh, mobile cell tower. Uh, uh -huh. Right now, they have a cell tower on wheels, but they're these huge trucks. Or right. these really large trailers. Yes. yes. Uh, our unit can have extremely powerful cellular computer or cellular transmission equipment inside of it, but they're not huge. They can be put in an elevator. They can be deployed to a rooftop. They right. can go inside or outside of buildings. Those huge cell tower on wheels that they have now can't do any of those things. We provide another level of mobility to the disaster recovery uh, and uh, marketplace. Fantastic. Um, are you working with anyone? Uh, within DHS on this yet? Uh, not currently. Uh, our product launch is in April. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we're in pre-launch activities right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were invited to come here and share share that technology I, with I, DHS. This is our first trade show uh, that's targeted for the people that we built it for. Right. You know, so. Well, we hope to see you again. Thank and you. And more often. You will. All right. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. by.